Welcome back to the Michigan Interstate Wells. I will be well fitting the Lake State Wellway from Well Lane, Michigan, all the way to Gaylord, Michigan. Chasing them all the way to Gaylord, Michigan on the old Mackinac subdivision. After getting the power set that would be moving north to the yard, I would be heading into town of Glailing just to wait for them. Took them two hours just to build their own train. Not even sure what they were doing, but I can pretty well tell you. 302 was going to be leading, but 4325 is now leading the train. After getting the power in their train at the depot, I decided to head on back on the road to a crossing, well, it's a little dirt road crossing north of town. It's like in the middle of nowhere. Basically, the whole trip is going to be like pretty easy because their train is short. Their train is usually pretty short. Usually, 302 would be leading, but they decided just to flip it. So they would have 4325 to leave. Pretty cool. Let's get it here. After we would catch him here at the private crossing, we decided to head back on the road towards a next spot of mine that we would catch him. I figured, however, I would thought we would go to a next crossing and just get him there, but I forgot I try to do some creative shots like this. It ended up being pretty good at a shot that I would publish it on Flickr. After going on the road again, we decided to head to our next spot on the road again. This time, it's a small town in the middle of nowhere. However, the shot would not be as bad as I thought. We would just have to be on the side of the road again. I kind of figured all of my spots that I was figured of going would be on the side of the road got this little supermarket on the background and a little bit of a gas station too. I, I just kind of flamed it with the supermarket in the background. Not ending up being pretty good for the picture. Same thing with video. Now we're basically back on the road again, going for another good shot that I looked on Google Maps. Well, basically some of the shots that I would go for today for this chase would all go for my dad. Thanks, bud, for getting all the good shots even though some of them I didn't even think about. Thanks Bob for getting all that. Here we go. This one was definitely even better. You get the scenery, and in some cases, like in Ohio, you don't get that. So, my dad messed up his shot of this type of scene. But, I ended up getting a better one on my DSLR. I would be 
putting a slideshow at the end of this video. I decided to get this type of shot of the KOA sign in the background. It ended up being pretty good. On the road again. Oh boy, here we go again. Back at another spot. We ended up getting ahead of them three minutes. So we had three minutes to spare. This type of shot I wanted to get. Back in 2022, I never got a good photo from this spot, so I decided just to come back and reshoot it again. This was a very good time for that, because with the 25th anniversary and the other locomotive, the 302, I would probably get a pretty good picture. Like this one, of course. spots that we have come. The clips were very short because the spots were very tight. So I ended up just not doing any narrowing till now. So we're back on the road. Getting ahead of it again. We're actually getting pretty close to Gaylor now, so we're gonna have to call it quits. This is actually our last spot. But I ended up decided just to try to get this type of shot, even though you get cars in it. So that's ended up being pretty good. But although, however, I would have to end the video here at Gaylor, Michigan, even though they're not slowing down, they're going to have to start to, because we're in Gaylor now, so we're going to have to start slowing down. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys either to Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Wells.